This short video introduces ScholarLensVis, a visualization framework for providing provenance information and semantic user profiles. In the next four minutes, we will tell you what semantic user profiles are and what they are good for. We will also explain what the most obstacles are in creating user profiles and why provenance is important. At first, we need to know what we are talking about. Personalized applications are increasing in a scholar's daily research practice. For instance, ResearchGate recommends scientific articles based on your profile. Or Vivo connects scholars in an organization and visualizes one's co-author network. These systems store personal information in a user profile. In Vivo's case, they store it in an RDF graph and, if possible, keywords are linked to entities. This is what we call a semantic user profile. There are still two obstacles in personalized scholarly applications. First, you often need to provide your personal information explicitly. For instance, you need to type your interests or research backgrounds into a form. This is time-consuming and annoying. Second, if the profile is automatically established, for instance by recording your browser behavior, you often don't know what exactly has been extracted and from where. This diminishes trust in an application. And trust in a system is important, in particular in research. Lack of transparency will discourage you to use the system. Hence, you always need to know where the personal information comes from and how you can get influence. This is why we developed ScholarLensVis, a framework to create and visualize semantic user profiles. At first, a user provides multiple publications. Then, ScholarLens, a text mining pipeline developed in our previous research, identifies research competences from these publications links it to dbpedia entities and automatically generates an RDF graph as user profile. This RDF graph can be used by ScholarLensVis to visualize the profile and to inspect the exact papers from which the competences have been extracted. Let's have a look how user profiles of famous semantic web researchers look like. Here we select the profile from Claudia De Amato. Her competences are presented in a pie chart and are listed in a table. In both cases the competences are listed by frequency. Each competence entry is linked with a provenance tab, providing more information in which publications the competence appears. All competence entries are linked with DBpedia entities, and the description of the competence is displayed in the comment tab. The user can also get the list of all papers used for the profile creation. We also link the competence entries to categories of the computer science ontology introduced at ISWC 2018. In case of a successful match, one or more categories are displayed. The category colors correspond to the colors of the pie slices. The graph chart displays the semantic similarity and relatedness between the individual competence entries. That means how close two competences are from their semantic meaning. This visualization gives users an impression how diverse their profile is. Solid lines denote a strong similarity between the nodes. Dashed and dotted lines denote medium and less similarity. We compute the semantic similarity with SEMmatch, a Python library introduced at ESWC 2015. A core chart visualizes the semantic similarity from a different perspective. It displays the accumulated semantic similarity values over the selected competences. The length of the outer arc reflects the number of similar connections a competence provides. Now inspect the provided semantic user profiles on your own and visit us online.